Yes, mga kawel. So, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Uh, today's video is about to repair the control valve and our uh, left cylinder because due to uh, operation, uh, op operator uh, found out something that there is a oil leakage. So, now we will check where is the oil leakage where is coming from and and also uh, we need to check to all right there we go so as you can see the control valve of the hydraulic system is leaking so this is badly leaking too much oil come out and also uh, I found also here there's a leak on our left cylinder so now uh, we will repair this we will replace with a new repair kit then I will show you what are the techniques that we need to uh, execute this on this what are the tic uh, tips and tricks so please keep tuned to my video and if you like my video please subscribe and hit the notification bell for more videos so the first procedure is to remove the forks uh, our goal is to reduce the weight of the skirid so that uh, when we pull out the cylinders uh, the weight of the skirid is not too too much heavy so right let's get started Okay, so we already removed the fork. So now, uh, what I'm going to do is to lift it up the carriage. Then we will put some blocks here, the pipe one. So this is solid. So to secure our mass in the, uh, to secure that our mass will not fall, so that we we need to use that. Okay. So, uh, first thing we need to do is to release the cylinder uh, before we put the, what we call this, the blocks for our mass. So, here uh, I will show you the cylinder that we need to release. So, this is the cylinder. And uh, here in the top, there is a bolt so we need to remove that so that we can easily uh, remove the whole, whole assembly of cylinder so as you can see there is a oil leakage so we need to uh, fix this and right so we need to remove this bolt so we already removed the bolt this is the bolt, uh, 17 mm. And after this, uh, when we lifting up, after lifting up, next is this, uh, 14 mm bolts. This is the bracket holder for the cylinder assembly.
So now, uh, I remove the main hose and the coupling hose for this two. This line should be released and this and also the return hose. And then I already removed the bracket for the cylinder. So it's already free. So now we will show you how to remove this whole assembly. So as you can see, I removed the cylinder in the sideways due to our block is too short. But if you have some blocks uh, long enough to cover the uh, to block the mass, uh, you can take it inside, not in the sideways. For my situation, I pulled it out in the sideways. All right. Hello. Okay, so we already managed to hold out the uh, left cylinder assembly. So next thing, what I'm going to do is to open this and replace the repair kit. Yes, mga kawel. So, we already uh, pulled out the cylinder, uh, lip cylinder. And now, we are here in the workshop. Uh, I will use a uh, bench vise so that I will not struggle to open this. So, now I will show you how to open this using my our pipe wrench. And let's go. Sa Pilipinas, wala. 0.8% lang pero sa ibang lahi ay dami 90% sabi eh 
Tawanan ka pa. So, ano tayo yung vlog ni? Vloggers na taroon ba? 13K views na tabi ay. Sweet na to. Hindi pa. Kailangan ko pa ng subscriber. Ayaw yung mag-subscribe eh. Susiyo ka kami ah. Oh, mayroon pang hindi pa naka-subscribe dyan. Sabihan nyo na. Kasama na kami sa vlog mo. Hindi ka naman nag-invite. Kailangan mag-invite yan. Punta ka sa channel ko. First YouTube channel. For tips and tricks. Bihira ka ba? Ano ba naman yan? Tubig? Uy! May... I-edit mo ba yan? I-edit yan! Alam mo na si Lindner, lang yun yung sabihin mo, tubig naman. Ano yung tagas yan? Oo. Masa o rin? Sa sapsil mo. Sapsil mo ko? Ayan mo, nakapasok mo yung dumi. Dito na sa una. Sakit. Tumulo ba eh? Sakit. So ayan po yung mga kaibigan ko uh, Sina Edwin at saka si Jomer Magalion So sila po ay nasa engineering department uh, Sila po ay mga machine equipment maintenance So sila po yung uh, tumutulong sa akin Pag nag install ako ng mga ganitong gawain Parang maganda pa Pero pangit na Okay pa kaya yan? So here, uh, as you can see, this is the difference between the new one and the old one U-cup bearing. Ah, U-cup bearing. U-cup cell. So here you see the grooves and the lips is so very thick. And the other one, the old one is already worn out. So... When we install this, we need the proper installation of this is, as you can see, there is a canal. It should be facing backward here in the piston. So, because the explanation of this is the 
uh, oil cell. This is the the oil will enter here and uh, bring some pressure so that the oil will not leaking inside. So this is the important way how to install that. Alright guys, uh, so we need to remove the wiper cell. So for removing, uh, I just need a uh, range. I use a range and secure that only the rubber you need to insert the range then you need after heating the range so that it will come out easily. Please secure because uh, there is a gap there in the metal one so you need to secure that only the rubber inside before heating. So these are the repair kit that we need to replace and if you see here a lot of dirt is sticking in the seal so this is the main reason why we should uh, undergo change oil if, uh, in the period of time periodic monthly maintenance because the dirt build up will stick in in the cylinders and this is the reason why our repair kits will be fast for now so now uh, we will clean this this cup and we will replace a new repair kit here this is the new one So we have we have here uh, for this is for the piston. It's just like a bushing, but this is for piston ring. And this one here is the what we call this wiper or dust seal. So this is the one who clean the rat. And this is the cup seal this is the one who hold the pressure of the oil and the other one is the o-ring also holding the oil for not leaking and also this cup seal so we have five five pieces that we need to install So as you can see uh, there are two types of U cup cell. So the other one is for the uh, cup and the other one is for the piston. So there are differences of that two. So you need to check the numbers that increase that engrave in the uh, in the rubber because there they have a difference number so you need to uh, also memorize the number of the for the u cup cell and for the oil cell on the for the cup so be sure to install it properly So during installation of our 
wiper cell uh, be careful to gently hammer it if you have some attachment or pipe that fits in with the same diameter you can use but for for my uh, insulation I only use hammer So before we install the piston or the rod or what we call the shaft here inside the cylinder we need to lubricate with some grease because uh, we need to protect our kit or the rubber itself when installing because if you damage that uh, you can if you damage even if slightly scratch uh, your your cylinder will experience some internal leaking and big problem so that's why uh, as you can see i put some lubrication so this is very important guys so we already installed the rod now and also don't forget to lubricate also the cap because we need to protect the new cell so this is very important to apply during installation my speaking kadere pwede raman ko na ko i-record lang para magkuhan ko istorya sa record oh record guys uh, we already finished to rehab the unit uh, 
we already uh, 90% because some um, accessories there is not uh, functioning so but for the general maintenance for the heavy uh, maintenance uh, we have already 90% accomplished so for now uh, we will endorse it for testing for testing and trial only but just see this is the result of our rehabilitation of our 15 year old forklift truck or uh, counterbalance right